Exercise 39, page 323. One. Where will you go? Two. When will you go there? Three. Why will you go there? Four. Who will go with you? Five. What will you do there? Exercise 40, page 324. One. Will Samantha study more? Two. Will Samantha go to more parties on weekends? Three. Will Samantha begin smoking? Four. Will Samantha exercise with her grandmother? Five. Will Samantha graduate from a university next year? Six. Will Samantha go on a diet? Seven. Will Samantha exercise only two times a week? Eight. Will Samantha spend more time with her grandmother? Exercise 41, page 324, 1. I want a new car. Two. A new car won't be cheap. Three. You won't get much help from your parents. My parents want me to get married. Five. They want grandchildren. Six. I won't get married for a long time. Seven. I want a good education. Eight, you won't believe the news. Exercise 43, page 326. A restaurant meal. One, Bert doesn't like meat, eggs, or fish. Two, he's a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat. He didn't eat it as a child, either. 3. His wife, Beth, doesn't eat meat, but she isn't a vegetarian. 4. She doesn't enjoy the taste of meat. 
five. They are going to try a new restaurant tomorrow. Six. It opened last month. And online reviews say it is excellent. Seven. Bert will probably have a dish with lots of vegetables. Eight. Beth won't have vegetables for a main dish. She'll probably ask for some type of fish. Nine. Are they going to enjoy themselves? Ten. Will they go back to this restaurant? Exercise 49, page 330. Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack. He lived with his mother in a small village. We are very poor. We have no money. Our cow has no milk. What are we going to do? You'll go to the market and sell the cow. Jack left his home and met an old man on the road. I will buy your cow. I will pay you with beans. Here, these are magic beans. Jack took the beans home to his mother. You stupid boy. We have nothing now. We are going to die. She threw the beans out the window. The next morning, Jack woke up and saw a huge beanstalk outside his window. It went into the clouds. He decided to climb it. At the top, he saw a castle. Inside the castle, there lived a giant and his wife. He went into the castle. What are you doing? My husband likes to eat boys for breakfast. You need to hide or he will eat you. I'm so scared. Please help me. Here, climb inside the oven. After breakfast, my husband will fall asleep. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. If he's alive or if he's dead, I'll use his bones to make my bread. Hmm. I smell a boy. Wife, are you going to feed me a boy for breakfast? No. I think the smell is the boy from last week. Here's your breakfast. The giant ate, counted his gold coins, and soon fell asleep. Jack got out of the oven, took a few gold coins, climbed down the beanstalk, and ran to his mother. Oh, Jack, you saved us. Now we have money for food. But you are not going to go back to the castle. The giant will eat you. But Jack wanted more money. Soon he climbed the beanstalk. Again, the giant's wife hid Jack in the oven. The giant had a hen. It laid golden eggs. After the giant fell asleep, Jack stole the hen. What will we do with a hen? Why didn't you bring more gold coins? Jack, you have no sense. Wait, mother. The hen is going to lay a golden egg. Watch. The hen laid a golden egg. Oh, you wonderful boy. We will be rich. But Jack wanted more from the giant. So he went up the beanstalk one more time. This time, a golden harp was playing. It made beautiful music. Soon, the giant went to sleep, and Jack took the harp. The giant heard a noise and woke up. I will catch you and eat you alive! The giant ran after Jack. Jack climbed down the beanstalk. The giant followed. Jack took an axe and chopped down the stalk. The giant fell. Ah!
The giant is dead. Now we are safe. The harp will give us beautiful music. My sadness will go away. Our lives will be happy. You saved us. And they lived happily ever after. Chapter 11, Expressing Future Time, Part 2. Exercise 10, page 339. Example, you will hear Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. You will choose maybe. One. We may be late for class tomorrow. Two. Your birthday present may come early. Three. Maybe you'll get a package in the mail tomorrow. Four. I may go to bed early tonight. Five. Maybe I'll go shopping tomorrow. Six. Maybe you will get married next year. Seven. The weather may be sunny tomorrow. Eight. Maybe it will rain tomorrow. Exercise 13, page 341. Example. You will hear... I might be absent tomorrow. You will choose A. Maybe I will be absent. One. There may be a change in our plans. Two. The weather report says it'll rain tomorrow. Three. We might finish this grammar book soon. Four. Henry may get good news tomorrow. Five. The class will start on time. Exercise 26, page 347. One. What are you going to do if the weather is nice after class tomorrow? Two. What are you going to do if your teacher cancels class tomorrow? Three. What are you going to do if your teacher begins talking too fast? Four. What are you going to do if you're sick tomorrow? Exercise 32, page 351. Example, you will hear... Before I go to bed every night... You will choose... A. I watch TV. 1. If I go to bed early tonight... 2. After I get home from school every day... Three. If class finishes early today... Four. Before I eat breakfast every day...
five. After I finish breakfast today, Six. If I get all the answers in this exercise correct, seven. When I finish this grammar book, exercise thirty nine, page three hundred fifty six. One. Are we going to be late for the movie? No, the movie starts at seven thirty. We have plenty of time. Two. What are we going to have for dinner? Leftovers. Is that okay? Sure, but I'll probably make some rice to go with them. Three. Are you going to be at John's wedding? Yes, but I won't get there until after it begins. I work until noon. Great. I'll see you there. Four. What are we going to do? We need to deposit this check, and the cash machine is broken. Our account is almost empty. No problem. I'll take it with me to work. There's an ATM next door. Chapter Twelve, Modals Part One, Expressing Ability. Exercise five, page three hundred sixty-three. One. A. I can count to one hundred in English. B. I can't count to one hundred in English. Two. A. I can't ride a bike with no hands. B. I can ride a bike with no hands. Exercise six, page three hundred sixty-four. Example: You will hear, "We can understand you." You will choose, "Can." Example: You will hear, "We can't understand you." You will choose, "Can't." One. Some students can't finish the test. Two. The teacher can give you extra help. Three. I can't hear you. Four. You can do it. Five. Don can't work today. Six. The doctor can't see you today. Seven. Professor Clark can meet with you tomorrow. Eight. I can't find my glasses. Nine. The kids can't wait for the party. Ten. We can stop now. 
Exercise 7, page 364. In my last job, I was an office assistant. I have good computer skills. I can do word processing and I can type quickly. I like talking to people and can answer the phone with a friendly voice. I also like languages. I can speak French and Chinese. I also studied English. I can read it, but I can't speak it well. I hurt my back a few years ago. I can't carry suitcases. I can work both Saturdays and Sundays. Exercise 11, page 366. One. Hello? Can I speak to Mr. Hudson, please? I'm sorry, he can't come to the phone right now. Can I take a message? He can return your call in about a half hour. Yes. Please tell him Ron Meyerson called. Two. Can you help me lift this box? It looks very heavy. I can try to help you, but I think we need a third person. No, I'm pretty strong. I think we can do it together. Three. I can't hear the TV. Can you turn it up? I can't turn it up. I'm doing my homework. Can you do your homework in another room? Oh. All right. Exercise 26, page 375. One. Were you able to talk to Adam last night? I couldn't reach him. I can try again later today. Do you know how to make pizza? Yes, I can make it. What about you? No, but can you teach me? Sure. Three, are you able to understand the teacher? I couldn't understand her in the beginning. But now I can understand most of her lectures. I still can't understand her very well. Four. Professor Castro, when will you be able to correct our tests? I began last night, but I wasn't able to finish.